in the last video, we got to this point where we had a recording in the notes. So this is where we left off. And that was it. So if you have any questions about getting, you know, the notes in and setting it up and having it talk to humanoid, uh, go consult that video. In this video, we're going to be getting into automation and doing some cool things with humanoid that can add a lot of life to your recording. Now, obviously, I've picked to go for this sort of more fun uh, synthesis sort of take on things. Uh, so let's really lean into that. So there are a few controls on here that are really worth touching. Now, for vocal stuff, uh, a high pass filter can sound really nice. So we're going to use the high pass in a couple different spots. The resonance on this thing is outrageous. It can get really aggressive. So we might try doing that. It's one of those things that it may or may not fit. Uh, the thing that is going to be a super popular knob, especially for this, is the formance control. You can do some really cool stuff with the formance. I should also note that I went through and cleaned up the MIDI. So I quantized it and just made everything uh, dragged out. Oop, missed one. Uh, to the full length so that there's no more weird gaps. So you're going to want to do that. Uh, otherwise, the gating effect could be pretty uh, sudden. So you may want to go through and clean your MIDI up pretty good. So I'm going to go to Browse Parameters and then Move What I Want. And this is the form and shift. And we will add this on. I'm going to unmute it. I don't know why they're showing up muted now. Uh, but let's look for a cool spot where a form and shift could be used. Right there. Long notes are asking for a form and shift. So we could shift it up and then we could have it come down slowly. And then maybe this one goes a bit negative. And then maybe we have a swell. This is also kind of fast here. Maybe we have this be a bit gradual and not so high all of a sudden. Yeah, something like that. It's kind of nice. So we'll go with that for now. The other thing that I want to mess with, it's kind of unique to this, is your voice is basically a wavetable now. So you can move the transform around and it will transform it from your voice using the granular style approach. It's, it's using the FFT, it creates these grains and it stitches these grains together to make the output and it can manipulate these grains to be basically like a, a waveform instead. So we can move this way and then we can use things like the shape and stuff. Now I like the saw, but we might experiment with some of the others. So let's just start off by moving the transform around. So I'm going to grab this and there are some spots. Did I have a selection active? It's strange to me that it started like that. Uh, let's go over here. We're going to have the transform oh, right there. How's that sound? Okay, we want this down. I, the transform I want to be real deliberate with. We'll have this come up here. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have it come up here. And drop suddenly. I'm holding Alt to snap off the grid, by the way. This one might be a little bit trickier to do. And then maybe we have it come down and we'll do like a swell thing here. Something like this and have this slowly come down. So maybe not right here, but here. We could have it really lean in on the formant shift. Sure, why not? We'll go with that. Now, we have some different options. Let's try out the droid for us one. Uh, 
and you could you can bring up octaves, note shifts. There's a stretching option here. And if you're ever curious what anything does, like you don't remember it, like I don't recall exactly what stretching does. If you come up here to the cog, there is a dark theme, by the way, and there's also tool tips. So if we hover over it, it skews the wave tables midpoint forward and backwards. Okay, so it's like a it's a it's a wave table like a bend feature. So why don't we try messing with that? So we'll grab stretch, we'll grab this. And we'll try messing with it right here. And let's go back to our, I think this saw is going to be the best call for this. So stretch won't be as meaningful for the saw. Uh, same with the shape. But we have added this. Now let's go in and there's a few moments where we have some pretty extreme, you know, it's just kind of loud, things are going on. So let's try working in this high pass. So I'm gonna grab the high pass, automate this, and it is muted again, we'll unmute that. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so with the high pass moves, we have this. So now we're starting to get a much more interesting vocal. At this point, you may consider adding some percussive elements, looking at how it's going to fit in the mix, uh, and you know, doing some mixing, adding instruments, things of that nature. In the next video, we're going to look at one more thing you can do, and that is to mess with the freeze feature to create these really cool glitchy parts. But if you have any questions about anything you've seen in this video, feel free to drop it down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day. <laughs>